I'll describe it and we'll see if you guys know where you are. You come in above unnamed uh, mixed desert and scrub land. The ocean's behind you. I bet you that's where the, the pirate ship is underwater. And that's a card for uh, Mr. I know where shit is, even though I refuse to make a map or admit that bubble maps are okay. Fuck the bubble maps. <laughs> <laughs> So, there you are. Where to? What was so, your destination? Let's try that. So, did you guys want to go up to the Snake Temple up north by the Green Gem Mine? If you want. Yeah, fine. That's, that'll be tricky for... Okay. Let's see. Um, from here, you can go to the... Yeah. You're going to a rather tricky to find area, and I don't think that you know where it is. Okay. So you could either go to the mountains or back down to miscellaneous shipwreck shipwrecks. Can I give you a land navigation roll or a air Oh yeah, navigation land navigation I'll make it less painful. Afhill. All right, so we just start cool. driving around. So where are we in comparison to, say, for example, the jungle or I think the, the jungle would be south. Uh, or the um, the Stonehenge thing on the beach. See, I thought it was around. I think we have to, I'll follow the because if we follow, we follow the water to the north, that should take us through Jolly Green Giant, or not Jolly Green Giant, because that's a way that's different. Sorry. But to where the giants live, we pass that. We go over the mountain where Mildred had uh, brought the horses, because for some reason she's awesome with horses. <laughs> that's just weird. Okay, you guys follow along the northern coast. I <laughs> like that. Fuck it, we just drive around a while. Fuck your mapping. Eventually, you get to the Sand Giant Nomadic Hunting Area. From uh, here, do we want to stop and get fast running boots. <laughs> no? Okay. We continue. No. <laughs> from here, you can either go to the Forbidden Mountains or. To the unnamed desert with cliffs and plateaus and cactus littered with bones. We go to the mountains. You arrive back in the Forbidden Mountains. And there's various ruined cities and Stella here. Along with various played out mines that are to be developed later. There's also huge birds that dwarf the size of your car flying around. They look at you hungrily. From we here. On quickly. You can either go back to the anvil or back to the world or down to the anvil or over to the whirlpool. Over to the whirlpool. This takes you back nearly where you started. Oh. So back to the anvil. You're in the middle of the fucking sand dune type desert. It has weird I put ruins. On my sunglasses. Okay. Weird ruins. Uh some sort of dragon skeleton blasted clean by a sudden wind, most of or much of which has been taken by Chris and stored somewhere, God knows where. From here, you can either go to a uh, cursed city that has been recently mostly decimated by the PCs, a uh, large pyramid uh, thing, uh, truncated, and looks like the Tyrell building, back to abandoned Thag, well, mostly abandoned Thag, a very small town. Um, yeah, uh, and past thing is uh, the mountains, blood pass, all that kind of stuff. You seem to be lost. 
We go up that way. Thag. All right, you guys head over to Thag. From Thag, you can get to uh, Blood Pass or the Southern Trade Road or Northern Trade Road. The mountains. Go to the Northern Trade Road. Okay, at the Northern Trade Road, uh, there's a town called Narl uh, that is an Irish uh, trading town. <laughs> it looks like uh, it doesn't have many people living at it anymore ever since the problem. Um, you continue up Northern Trade Road until you get to Wen. Um, that's the town that makes spicy pork rinds and gives them people. Ah, you may have found where you're at. Right. Um, you know that if you keep heading east, you'll get to the uh, Valley of the Jolly Green Giant or the mountains. You don't have to go to the Valley of Giant, Jolly Green Giant. but I think it's on look. the other side of the mountains. All right. You guys go and cross the mountains. Fortunately, you're moving fast. and On the other side of the mountain, you get to uh, Desert Hills, more mountains. Uh, you're back at the Storm Shield Mountains. I the driver to... seems frustrated, but he refuses to stop and ask for directions. Typical yep, land, man. Try what? a land navigation roll. Sure. Typical man. Won't stop and ask directions. Hopelessly lost. So you're in the mountains again. So you guys we're know where the fucking storm... map is? Or do you want to use a bubble map before I punch someone? Yeah, I was trying to find it. I found one that Freddie put together, and I'm just trying to work out how it links into some of my notes. Right now you're in the Storm Shield Mountains. In the distance, you see Peace Mountain. It's the big rock formation that appears to be giving the middle finger. So we want also to go close by is Bear Mountain. Wonder why they call it that. All right, because of the way this map over there is Bear Mountain, was it? Mm -hmm. Yana, say something. I think your mic's come unplugged. I'm still here. Oh, my God. Uh, we'll go to the unnamed foothills evergreen trees. I'm looking at Freddy's map, so it may be not something called that. Well, your options from here, aside from Bear Mountain, Peace Mountain, the big volcano, um, foothills, or... Yeah, we'll, go. we'll go to the foothills. More mountains, okay. Foothills. Uh, is there dead forest off that? It does go to dead forest. Then is there? Uh, what's he got there? Un dead forest. After about two days, travel through the hilly forest. Uh, unnamed foothills, evergreen trees, then it goes to dead forest. From dead forest, you can go to unnamed hilly forest. And from there, you're to Alexburg. Yep. Alexburg and... looks impressed to see a flying car come zipping by. Isn't it north of Alexburg or whatever? No, we, better, we want to get to Lake Raff. And from Lake Graf, we want to go to, here's me notes. There's the ruined city, there's the Forney Hills, there's the snake motif temple. Hmm. By the way, um, Doc Fulton and woman with no name, give me memory rolls. I have. There is always the berry bushes if you wanted to make a detour over to Vip Forest, you know, spend an hour or two driving that direction. I don't think he's hardy enough to take to eat those. I mean, I get a big bonus if he made it, but. He loves nothing better than being sick for weeks. That makes him happy. Mm-hmm. So happy. 
So which way which way are you going there? From I Alexburg. Even, no, I was gonna say I can't even see he's got Alexburg on the map. Perfect. He's got he's got Alexopolis, he's got Alexville. Mm-hmm. Well, honestly, getting from Alexburg back to Kinleyville is really easy. Just follow a well-defined road. Yep, we'll do that. Done. Then we, from Kinleyville, we'll go to the swamp. From the swamp, we go to Lake Raff. From there, we go to the... Now, let's see. We want to go to the jungle of... Then we want to go to the village, then the crack, then the forbidden jungle, and then to the Voing Lake, and then the ruined city with the snake motif. He and... knows how to get there. Chris was looking on the wrong side of the continent. You guys have been yeah. traveling in the car for a few days, FYI. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, we were, we were way off, way the other side of the world from it. I drive. Someone else navigate. And and from the ruined city, we go to the Snake Trail and the Fawny Wilds, and then we go. And then you got this huge snake skin, and then the Snake Motif Temple. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm gonna take a card for being able to read the bubble map well. No, no, this is reading my own notes. Ah, well, well done. He doesn't have any of this on his notes in his Awkward. bubble map. Well, maybe someday. I well, I was going to put it on there, and then I died, and then I thought, well, too bad, can't put it on there. <laughs> <laughs> and work's been a bit of a bitch, so. Mm. Remember that work can never stand between you and gaming. Oh wait, no, it's the other way around. Anyway, so um, right. Uh, who's that? Welcome to the Thorny Wilds. Oh, excuse me. Are we there yet? Yep. Cool. And I'm working on finding. That's super. Right. You guys landed from some weird, it looks like the temple has been partially retaken by uh, uh, the jungles. There's a lot of over the top snake imagery everywhere. There's like pillars with the big curling snakes holding weapons and stuff like that. <laughs> There's a lot of imagery of eggs. Big eggs. It's probably like where some big snaky things are, and so it's gonna be all kinds of fun in here, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll just be careful and then run away. The whole thing just are you just kind of parking in front of it like we're here to clear out this dungeon and move on. That's not how we do everything. It just shows you pull up right outside. Go, where's the valet parking? God damn it. Not a good idea, but you know, you guys don't think this is a good idea. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> we, can check, we can check around to see if there's any tracks or anything, any signs of things coming and going. I agree. The opening of the temple is a big gaping snake mouth. Check around to see if there's an indication of things coming and going, or if it's just overgrown and. Give me your tracking rolls. Yes. Hmm. Um, what can you speak of? <laughs> You're looking at a track. She carefully comes by and kicks the dirt over it. 
What do you know? I hope we help you. Yes, you're very helpful as always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you mean as always? You're, you're thinking it's definitely, it looks like shit's going in and out, but you were getting ready to tell what, but then, you know, dirt. There is something going in and out. Unfortunately, I can't tell what it is any longer. A lot of something. Big something. Heavy. A, a lot of something. Big something. Probably a giant purple velvet 20 meter anaconda. Mm. Mm. Sounds There's also, looking big. around, there's a lot of uh, trash. She's currently working on destroying it, but Trash as in the stuff that a giant snake would spew up? Like no, uh, trash like people or? would leave. Plus oh, uh, a lot of carcasses and stuff, like mm, bones okay. and things like that. Oh, no, people. And they look fairly recent. Mm, okay, so it looks like there's people that are making, making use of these. <laughs> You're not sure if they're people, but... People, but serpent men... Lizard men, crocodile men, something. Mm -hmm. um, from within the uh, uh, temple thing, uh, it looks like from where you're standing, it looks just pitch black. But you're becoming convinced that there may be something in there as you enter into standard combat. The bad guys are taking a surprise round as they do things. Round one. Uh, you guys are staying there this round. The bad guys try stuff. Let's see. Two arrows come exploding out of the uh, the door and miss everybody. Uh, and the car. A, one of them sticks in a tree. They look like good size arrows. <coughs> They're about as long as your leg. Big arrows. Hi. <laughs> and we go next round. I. Oh, that was yeah, that was surprise, wasn't it? Yes, they did not do well on surprise round. Uh, sadly for them. Um, heroes are first pistol whipping. Whatever did this to you is approved. <laughs> so starting off with Fulton. How far away is the entrance? Maybe ten meters. Can I see what's firing at us or no? No, because the sunlight's out here and it's dark in there, you're just looking at blackness pretty much. Okay. I'm going to cast a spell. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, this takes a while, doesn't it? Never mind. I... He says. I... He starts to and gives up. And oh, over to Yana, what do you do? Um, can I take out of somewhere? There, you can hide behind the car. Um, uh, what about somewhere else? There's a tree. Tree. It's near the car. <laughs> <laughs> she hides behind a tree. And over to Obed. I dodge to the right, out the way at the entrance. All right. Uh, give me a sprint roll to get far enough away, because you're not sure where they're standing or how close in they are or any of that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to be standing there silhouetted in the entrance. Damn. Uh, run sprint. That would be what Obed does, though. Yes. He would pose dramatically for his round. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're down to pretty much one target, one target with concealment, no target. So, um, right, they all shoot at Doc. Uh, also, everybody give me a free listen roll. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Doc, give me an alcohol slash drug tolerance roll, if you please. Arrow sinks India. It's eight plus poison. How annoying, says Doc. That's not, I thought that was off of endurance. That's not off endurance. That's something different. 
You could do endurance if you'd rather do that than alcohol drug tolerance. You also uh, did, uh, people made their listen. You hear orders being given and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was four points, or wait, it was eight points plus poison? Uh huh. Base. All right. Arrow goes right through you. And literally. Okay. And we go to next round. You, they they say uh, things in there. Anybody who made their listen roll, please uh, roll uh, for a new language that you've never heard before. Cool. Uh, right, Fulton, get a check in parcel tongue. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Same for Obed. I mean McKay. So what's Par it called? Parcel tongue. How do you spell that? I'm not sure. I'll look. P A R S E L P O N G U E. Wow. There's a parcel tongue translator online as well. People are really missing out on Harry Potter these days. I'll tell you what. So, right, what was said is, you four stay here, I'll get the others. Uh, <laughs> let's leave. Right, we now go to next round, the round in which people are attempting to leave. McKay is furthest from the car. Jan is mm -hmm. close, as is Doc. Heroes are first and cannot use ranged attacks. Nothing is approved. Doc, what do you do? I have in the car. Aha, he says. Give me an acrobatics roll just to make it slick as opposed to ha ha ha. Uh, I, I, I'd rather just, okay, I'll try. Yeah, well, you've got to go across the hood. Ha ha! <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, they, they play old 1970s TV show uh, stuff with people constantly sliding across the hood. Yana, you're hiding behind a tree nearby. What do you do? Try to get into the car. Give me an acrobatics roll because you need to get in the back seat to leave a front seat free. Otherwise, McKay will sit on your lap and that will suck because he's heavy. And he smells weird because he's Obed. And Obed smelled weird. Fail. You're right now doing the wriggling around between the seats, trying to get into the back. Mm -hmm. You're hoping nobody shoots through the windshield or may shoot you in the butt. Yep. <laughs> so over to McKay. You are ways away because you got out of the range of the door. Nice. Do Bring you to the car. Give me a sprint roll. Da, 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 trip dramatically. Just, ah, oh, damn. Mm. You get to the car. Next round, you can simply climb in the car. And next round, hopefully, Doc can start up. They begin showering the car with all sorts of projectiles. Oh, wow. Okay. It was not a crit on the first one. The second one missed. And Arrow thunks into the car massively. It skitter. It breaks the uh, the uh, mirror next to the dock dramatically. This way, the audience knows that they're getting closer, but they haven't broken anything critical on the car yet. <laughs> and hero's turn. Doc, what do you do? Start it up. Yep. McKay, you're thinking it's a good time to get in before they leave your ass here. Oh, yeah. uh, I'll be you gotta give me a contortions roll in order to try to pop into the back seat before McKay gets in because he's just getting in. Fail. She wriggles around between the seats as McKay is now using her for some sort of hat rack or whatever. <laughs> he gets in, closes door, and it shows like. Uh, Fulton looking serious, McKay looking serious, and between them, the woman with no names, buttocks. So it's like a it's like a family picture. 
You're continue trying to get in the back seat. God damn it. And I'll grab a I'll grab a foot and give her a push. <laughs> All right, give me a, a strength roll there, Obed. I mean, okay. Nope, he says. Don't critical, don't fumble. That's all I got to say on that. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Yana, she puts you through the back windshield because he doesn't yet know the strength of his new body. <laughs> Give me a grapple roll to grab onto the car, which fortunately hasn't lifted off too high yet, although it looks like Doc Fulton's not sticking around. He's still getting used to his own freakish strength. He has the strength of the, uh, the drawer. Right, you've crapped onto it, and your, your body goes, and you're like, ah, Fulton, it looks like she's uh, desperately trying to uh, not fall out of the back of the car. You chose your just your rear view mirror. You see her going, ah, holding on. She's grabbed the, uh, the window, which is breakaway glass and stuff, um, and her body is dangling down the trunk in the back area. All right, I'm going to back up real fast. I <laughs> can't <laughs> driving roll. Oh, this is going to hurt. By half or 30. No, probably you kind of go, Ugh. and Yana, give me a acrobatics roll to not make this any more awkward than is necessary. Perhaps. Right, take a D4 and damage and some hilarity as you smash into the seats. You guys go, Ooh. and then she goes to the floor in the back. Uh, it's half and half, so one real one stun. She goes oh, on the floor in the back. You think you've got everybody now, Doc? Ah, good. We go. <laughs> right, they fire one last volley of arrows after you guys. Dunk, dunk, dink, dink. Arrows fly around. You guys decided you didn't like that place. That's going to take some planning then. I didn't know it was going to be that. Yeah. No, no. I don't think any of us do that. Right. <laughs> but now we know. Look at the right side of things. You have something great to send the new adventurers on. <laughs> oh, you can do this tomorrow and send the spices. Ah. Oh. Yeah, right. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So anything else we want to check out while we can? Well the um where we found all the emeralds is just over there. Like did you want to go just check it out and see like what we can do about this area? Because like we'll go check it out, but I think it's more like we need to like we we would need to set up like a big thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'd need to set up a mining operation. I just meant if you wanted to see if we could find any loose emeralds or something to scoop up that sides that. Okay, well, we'll go do that. Go look and see, like, just how rich the rich it is over here. All right, no problem. He takes you over to the uh, the emerald thing, and right, everybody, give me a. Mining. Oh wait, does anybody have a pick? No, no. We we're just seeing what was loose, what we could gather up. Huh. We'll go for half that. Everybody, give me a mining roll for gathering stuff. Just going for the loose stuff. No pretty rocks, no pretty rocks, no pretty rocks. Nope. Fulton is a natural born miner. All right, roll a D6. Two. You found a small red ro uh, rock thing. You're like, hmm, good. Red or green? Mm hmm. I think Isn't it emeralds here. It is. They have. They. Um, I think they may have uh, some red emeralds left over from the whole everything's going red thing. Okay. Um, give me an appraisal roll to know how much these should be worth. Uh, 
or the one little rock. One little rock, one little rock, one little rock, one little rock. According to uh, uh, the late great McKay, oh, he could be called that now. Hmm. Uh, he's guessing uh, the value should be about half a gold piece. Woo! <laughs> 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 yeah but i mean just for coming here and looking at it to see what's up you know yeah we could go check out lake wrath right quick since you know and see what's there do scout out of that yeah if you want. Yeah. or wait is what's the lake that's closer uh like it starts with a v or something isn't it Voig or something uh where are we yeah vong like Vong, V O I N G. All right, we go over there. There was bones picked clean of meat, some recent, some old. It went off to Forbidden Jungle. There was the ruined city with the snake motif coming off it. Oh, so that kind of, that's like the entrance to the whole area here. Yes. In the ruined city, you had the hemp field, the olive fields. Well, the the ruined city with the snake motif and stuff, it's separated a little bit from the uh, temple thing that you guys yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, got the trail. shot at. But it does have a lot of bones at it. And, um, yeah. Like, are there people there? Like, can we do a flyby no. and see if, like, there's no one there then? You do a flyby, and all you can see is bones, lots of bones. There is no creatures around. You don't even see anything the size of a cat around. You have a suspicion as to what did this, though, if you know about the different kinds of bad creatures that eat everything. Cryptozoology? Yeah, you need to settle down and look at the bones more closely for that, which would mean... Getting out of the car. Never get off the phone. <laughs> True. So do we want to, we, we can, do you want to check this place out or steer mm. clear? I think there's probably giant snakes or something there. Mm. And you, there. you're able to see a lot of it. You're you're not too worried about giant snakes. Okay. But unless they're underground hiding until you like land and shit. But there's bones that are far enough away from like unless they have hidden opening things, like you land and then they fucking jump out of these these things that trap they were just snakes. hanging out under the trap doors going, ah, maybe they'll land. Or oh. if all the people are wearing big hats. That are made to look like the ground, and they all stop walking when like anything flying comes around. Maybe, but that'd take quite a bit of setup. You're pretty convinced that you could land at least for a couple minutes without getting jumped. All right, you let's land wrong, a couple but... minutes and have yeah, a quick check. You guys land and are taking a look at some stuff. There's a lot of wild bones, and they've all been chewed. Give me a cryptozoology roll, everybody. Lower is better. Right. Bolton jumps in the car and flies away, leaving you two forever. No, I wait. Okay. He's like, I'm out. How do women with no name do? Excellent. Right. Fulton, you did pretty good on this. You're thinking that it looks like um, something that didn't walk. It flew and it bit, 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 bit. Lots of biting and stuff. So you're thinking some sort of swarm of something that can fly and what they ate seems to have been uh like half human half big snake okay um you're you're guessing yan t i share this information um that's so probably those flying piranhas or whatever they are that they've got the they got the the wires up over kinleyville to stop yeah, they're, those are really nasty. People, until they got the wires up, were definitely in fear for their lives for those things. And apparently they took out an entire fucking city of stuff. So you guys are feeling less and less secure the longer you're standing here on the ground. 
Okay. It does the thing where it, sh it then focuses on the sun slowly setting in the distance. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, so we should go then, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. We could go to Lake Wrath. I know there was like some goblin stuff going on there. We never really poked around much there. Okay. You guys go around seeing all the different sites and stuff. It's great fun. It's like a family vacation. Add for the find function. Okay. You guys uh, arrive at Lake Wrath. It's a huge lake. You guys are in a unique position of being able to see the banks and stuff, but if you're... Uh, like, you have to do it, like, I see that bank, it's got me, it's got, there it is, you know, that kind of, you couldn't see them from the edges. Uh, here are the different things that, you know, a little bit of a detailed fly, fly around. Uh, oh, by the way, Lake Wrath is next to uh, the Jungle of Hatred, a.k.a. Freddy Hates This Jungle is the full name. Um Let's see, there's a deep underwater city that you can only see a few of the structures, uh, and you only catch a glimpse of them as you pass. Um, there's a small island uh, from which uh, women's screams emanate. That's there's, right. Yes. There's, oh, what else is there? Um, Shut up in the water hiding. Mm -hmm, probably. Um, there's a small island that contains a giant staircase that goes up to a flat top that has four... Uh, braziers, places to light fires inside, like big pots, and mystical markings all over the top. And there's also a large goblin village on one of the banks. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much it there. So can we stop, hover? I want to stop and hover above the the mystical things with stuff and Pop a charge on my sea magic glasses. Mm -hmm. So what do I see? Looks like a bunch of weird mystical lines and shit. I got, I got my analyzed magic by 30. Uh, it looks as though it opens a gate to somewhere when you um, open the, the uh, or when you uh, light the braziers at night. There may be some sort of ritual that goes with it and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, when you're able to shadow walk and all that stuff, gates become a lot less mystical. Mm -hmm. It's like, eh, yeah, that's nice. But it's a bit they go if they lead us to places we've not been before. Mm -hmm. True. We could ask the goblins if they know where it goes. Yeah, true. By the way, this is to be determined check back season five for where it goes. Okay. Well, there you go. All right. Yeah. We wave to the friendly goblin fisherman that let us know that. And uh... <laughs> it shows me uh, as you guys are flying off big tentacle, he starts looping around his boat. He's like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, any other exploration we want to do? Uh... I mean, most of, I think, besides the nitty gritty, a lot of um, MMO land has been flown over and scoped out. Mm -hmm. About the only thing, as far as I know, is has anybody found the missing boat and people? I think that was take. I think they were taken by the jungle. I don't think anyone's found that yet. Yeah, yeah. And with how quickly everything grows, that would be real rough to find. Oh, yeah, they still finding shit in today's jungles. We got fucking satellites that do nothing but hover. So that'd be a long, long haul to do that one. Yeah. But think of the closure you could give their relatives. They don't care about their relatives. Yeah, they're fucking dead if they fucking went down in that jungle. Mm. 
Plus, there's several. But they were the most powerful mages of Kinleyville. I'm sure they'll be fine. Nit in the mirror. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, you guys, you guys have made a good um, survey of uh, the MMO lands and stuff. As soon as you bring in a flying car and you got like, because you guys have been driving around probably for a week. Yeah, you know, you've got three weeks left until the Chris stops working and you drop out of the air like a average brick. I thought they lasted for two months. Yeah. I thought it was one month. No, nope, two we months. Went this, we went through this already. Damn. Two months. All right. Well, then you get more time, but not much. <laughs> Logan looks it up anyway because he's like, What? Oh, Magitech, how could you betray me? God damn it, two months. <laughs> I'll just bold face that shit. So should we go back to Kenleyville for now? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know if there's anywhere else particularly here to check out or investigate. Well, a question, we question really for you. In detail. Is, is should I should I work on uh, tightening up the uh, the snake temple thing at some point or no? Hmm. Got it. What we Besides. could do is we could travel over to um, so Beastkin still has some magic, but it doesn't work. For, it's like rough, right? Yes, by free basically. Want to go there and we can bring the the kids back here we could try keeping the car going will be rough i know i think if you do try it though you should paint a big s on top of the car watch that on the sides go. that's right <laughs> <laughs> So, I just need to, well, we do have Santa suits too. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good movie. Mm -hmm. Just got a so, salmon out of it now. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, you guys attempt to take the magic flying car back to Beastkin Land. Yep. That's a pretty ballsy move, sir. Yep. All right. Well, which shadow? I'm going to be traveling close to the ground at least. So if we do Plummet. fuck up, it won't be quite well, as bad. One of the things with shadow shifting is you kind of have to because uh, you need to be able to see the changes and stuff. If you're okay. traveling like through a bank of clouds, it would be useless for you. But uh, which it yeah. has been a few days of you just driving like a maniac, everybody sleeping in the car. Hope it smells funny and not in a good way. Okay. Yes, uh, <laughs> why did you have to die? It's no fun. <laughs> I don't think he planned on it. I yeah. certainly did not plan on it. It shows it shows him doing the plan. First die, then come back. Then So I didn't make mine, so anybody else want to try? Yeah. Did you want to have a go at it, Mildred? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Right. First, let's go with high, low. You want low. Which side of the planet are we on here? Correct side. Excellent. Now, high, low. You want low. Are we with the scary people in the south with the glowing bellies? Yes, we are. All right. So you guys pop out, flying over the jungles, 
and you see all these big pyramid things set up. We start okay. heading north. We're, we're, yeah, we must be in the Mexico glowing, glowing ones area. Mm -hmm. You guys are flying over that. Occasionally it shows a couple spears trying to get to you and stuff. So you're flying a bit higher and whatnot, speeding to the north. I'm going to ask for another driving roll and such because you've been driving for long enough where you're like, I need some time off. Plus, it's going to take you a few days to drive north. Okay. Cool. Uh, right. Let's see, including the air. Uh, I said it's been a week before, so now you're up to two and a half weeks total. Time has passed. You guys are finally back at, give me a, uh, actually, who wants to navigate and who wants to support? Because it's a big country. In a big country. Well, we could pretty much just fly strap the north, the um, east coast. Sorry, the West Coast. I East Coast? Say. I'm totally West good Coast. with the East Coast. Well, I'm, I've, I've been curious as to what's on the East Coast, so. Shows a bunch of rude New Yorkers. Yeah, come on, bring it. Um, well, right, there's no, supposedly there's other there's other towns and stuff out here, so I'm curious well, as to how well. Plus 20 for defeating Logan's evil plan by remembering you live on the West Coast. <laughs> uh, love navigation. Now, the big roll for Chris, yeah, I want a willpower times, hold on, let me make sure it hasn't altered here, as things do, because this will be whether you can go ahead and fly it or whether you're going to end up crashing into the ground somewhere near Texas. Hold on a second, you're in very western. Oh, zone hopping PCs from hell. Very Western tech level. Ooh, Chris Powered. Okay, Chris, you're rolling for the Chris Powered stuff. Uh, give me a willpower times three. Lower is better because if you just make it, you're going to be making Got more it. than one. All right, no problem. Uh, that gets you out of South America. Give me uh, willpower times three for Central America and stuff. Got it. I'm well aware, Logan. Logan's confused now. He shouldn't be. Oh, motherfucker. Right. And give me a uh, willpower times three for getting over to where you're trying to go. It just shows them go, and as you're as you're uh, landing and stuff, uh, people come out to see what's going on, and they're like looking angry. Okay. They get less angry when they see Australians coming out of the car. Oh, it's just Australians. Oh, yeah. So as we were traveling, where is the ambassador, you bastard? One of them yells. Did we see much sign of civilization on the northern continent? Um, I would say it's kind of seems to be like small compact cities, like city mm -hmm. states, rather than we're clearing out all this land for farming. It's more like um, there's a lot of uh, extra land and whatnot. And I mean, it seems to be more unused, except, of course, for hunting elves. That, I'm sure, it gets plenty of use from. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the beast, Beastkin cities are rather comp, uh, compact. They don't really spread out the way they did in the USA, where it's like, whoa, let's, I want to build this on my own 500-acre land plot. No, they, they're just kind of taking what they need. They're much more socialistic than humans. Okay. Well, we grab the kids and... Uh, right. Uh, you you grab the... They want to. A uh, flying car. Hot damn. We're going to MMO land. Hot damn. Grab the kids. And right. Yana, mm -hmm. you are crammed in the back. There's a elf guy there's an elf girl you can sit in the front things. if you wish 
Yeah, above I can't navigate anything. Right? <laughs> there's two babies, and then there's like, I don't know, 25 kilograms of stuff the babies apparently can't live without for any amount it of time. It's got a boot, hasn't it? It could be needed immediately. <laughs> 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 new mother that's no. all i got to say on that new no. mother. oh yeah right. and away we go and she hands you on one of the kids hold them would you <laughs> i just throw them overboard <laughs> what the baby <laughs> you're missing the back windshield so it'll definitely get some air time i don't do it okay right just... you're stuck holding one of the fucking babies uh give me a I'll take a, a I'll lock it. No, she has no empathy. We know this. Give me a luck roll. Lower is better, Yana. This is for whether it poops, throws up, burbles. Who knows? Babies are pretty much little poop machines. I will throw the baby. You said they're about t two to three years old now. Mm. Oh, sorry. They're sticky little poop machines. <laughs> they like to eat candy and shit. My house. Right. You've got one sitting in your lap and he's like, John Uncle Uncle uh Mildred, I I I no, no. I frog, no. and the frog no. his name was and he just sits there and talks no. the whole journey. She's like, Shut up, shut up, shut up. And he's like, da 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 little half elven kid and stuff. Mm -hmm. Half elves neat. I didn't I didn't skip the baby yet. <laughs> And they, you, you know, I, how old are you? You look really old. He says, <laughs> "Are we there yet?" <laughs> Having three different people ask you from time to time if you're there yet really sucks. So, uh, you've again had you're on new day, obviously. So, uh, right, Mister, uh, who wants to try to make the shadows uh, part and is only one person that can do this one. Oh yeah, that's right. You got to do that uh, four to ten. Holy shit, he did it the first time. All right, so let's see where you are in the world. Roll a and d6. It's not quite low enough to wor warrant reversing. Right. Hmm. Holy shit, you're in the middle part. Good. Roll another d6. Got it. Okay. Let's see what new lost place we're at. Yeah, that fucking TV show Lost thought they were the bomb. I'll show them getting lost. And right. Um you come out over an actual wide paved wide paved road, unnaturally straight and across the clear sand uh it goes across some sort of desert heading straight north toward uh mountains. Is this, uh, where the ruined is this where the ruined city is that we glassed? No. Okay, it's a different, different straight, different road in jungle, in uh -huh. desert. Okay. I don't think I've been There's to this place. White house over that away, and a city that away on the uh, uh, sea. What's so, um, it looks like uh, from a dist. Uh, actually, time for that famous fucking Doc Bolt thing. Give me spot hidden. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Everybody, give me spot hidden rolls. You want to make it at least half, and if you make it, you want to give me a sanity roll. No. Nah. <clears throat> wow, he finally didn't make one. Yes. Fumble. McKay's playing with one of the babies. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. He says to the baby. Ha, ha, ha. He says to the baby. Right. Uh, so the only one who made it, uh, give me a Sandy roll. Looks like half human, half spider people. Really big. Right. Right. One, one point toward Drider. D R I D E R. It looks like uh, one of them's waving in the general direction. Like, yeah. she waves back. 
Understood yeah, that. I'm not sure where the where the where they are in relation to the rest of the world. Hmm. Yeah. It's always good to have a solid grasp of the world. Got my land nav by half. Uh, north. You want to go north? Um, you head up through an unnamed desert. The unnamed desert takes you to the mountains. You skirt carefully around the Birdman's uh, homes. Okay, that takes you really past an active volcano, past some foothills, and right on into Kinleyville. There we go. So, as you can tell, uh, I mean, in in miles, it's a long way from Kinleyville to the Driders. But as far as like landmarks and stuff, it's not there's not a lot. It's pretty much go past the Birdman area and don't get caught loitering there uh, but you guys cruise the home sweet home the worst thing is that the elf man and woman they don't think that this was difficult at all they just yeah, of course doc bolton can do this <laughs> hey they just take it for you know this is just normal we have a flying car we can do this the kid, the kid, meanwhile, he's like offering to share something that is sweet, hairy, and out of his pocket with uh, Mildred. Never. Don't even look at me. He, he's like, tastes like my pocket. He starts eating it. Too sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why what? Why do we care? He's rubbing his hands on you and stuff because they're sticky, and now you're stickier. I hate this so much. We care because we do. Uh, I don't. When will Grandpa come back? Never. He's dead. He's No. One of the kids, her kid starts crying, so now she's getting fucking tears on her and stuff, and the other one's like, what? Right? What? I help bring everything that. into the PC house and uh, take it away from the crying. <laughs> <laughs> are you land? Where are you landing? There's not a lot of landing areas there, unless you want to see if the PC house is structurally strong enough to support this on no, its I was roof. I'm gonna like park right outside the front. There's a road that's used right outside the front. This is like I said many times. This is a very compact city. Uh... Where okay. are they? Where were they putting oh, all the other flying cars? Fire shit that you're hovering over right now that keep flying things like cars. Where, out. where where were they keeping all the other flying cars? Outside of the city. Oh, okay. Well, then we park outside the city by whatever gate is there or whatever guards are there. There's probably a couple of our abandoned flying cars you can uh, park nearby. They okay. run out of juice and nobody knows how to do anything with them, so you land there. The guards wave. They're, the flying cars, they bring more guards over since this one's active, but when they go inactive, they're not guarded very much. It's like, you know, we'll have one guy sit around and kind of keep a half an eye on them. It's like, is anybody trying to scavenge them? Don't do that. They need that. Guards come over, look at the rear window and go, I have near window. Uh, it blew out. Go pretty fast, huh? Uh, we were attacked by sneak people. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah. Hail Yig. And I continue on. <laughs> right, no problem. Eventually, you get the kids. They're 20 kilograms of fucking supplies. Two elves. Three PCs out of the fucking cars. Everybody seems happier. The kids begin running around like they're on fucking crack. Uh, the one the one uh, says, I love you, and hugs uh, uh, the woman with no name. And then he runs off after the other one. The parents, or the, uh, the female elf then runs off after that. Her brother then shoulders 20 pounds of baby shit and begins waddling slowly toward the gates. Thanks, he says. Mm -hmm. 